In this video, I'm going to show you an incredible new feature from OpenAI that I think is going to be a game changer for ChatGPT. Nobody is talking about this, so I made this video to really show you how to get access to it. So it's not available in ChatGPT yet, but you can access it through OpenAI's website. So go to openai.com, click on API, then you need to sign up for an account. It's completely free to create an account. You will need to give your phone number for verification. Once inside, what you want to do is click on Playground at the top here. Now, the new feature that's not available in ChatGPT is this speech to text feature. And when I saw this, I was, you know, it looks like something normal, but it's actually got an incredible amount of use cases once it's combined with ChatGPT. So I'll give you an example of something I did this morning with it. All you have to do is go down and click hit start recording and just say what you want it to capture and it'll just transcribe it. So I'll give you an example. Hi Liam, I know I need to do my tax returns. Can you please let me know the documents that I need to send you? Thank you. So now I'll hit stop recording and it's just going to start transcribing what I said. Now that's pretty cool. It captured exactly what I said in perfect language. There's no errors here, no misspellings. So what I can do now is use this as an input. Now this is where the really the magic happens because what I'm going to do is get OpenAI Playground, which is the same as ChatGPT, to rewrite this into a formal email. So now I've just added rewrite the above as a formal email. I hit submit. And here I get a formal email that I can now just copy and paste into uh, Gmail or whatever. Now this is kind of amazing to me because I was putting off this task for a while. I didn't know what to say and how to phrase it all. And this just makes it a whole lot easier by saying, dictating what I wanted the email to be and then getting OpenAI to kind of improve it slightly. And that helped me speed up that task and get it done uh, for something that I was putting off for a while. Now you can do this for a lot of things. You could be dictating blog post ideas, getting the basics of what you want down on paper, and then just asking ChatGPT to rewrite that or to expand upon that or improve that. Now another thing that I've been using it for personally is to help me write YouTube scripts, and I'll do it piece by piece. So for example, I'll just start with the intro. In this video, I'm going to show you an incredible new feature from OpenAI that is going to be a game changer for ChatGPT. So that's the first part of my script. Now I can just keep building upon it and add the second part. To get access to this new feature, go to openai.com forward slash playground. So I'll build up my video scripts kind of piece by piece imagining what I'm going to say in my head and then I'll just put in a prompt again. So now I'll put in rewrite the above as a YouTube video script and it'll go ahead and do that. So it's so much faster than just typing it out and it really enables me to get my ideas onto paper a lot quicker. It's a lot less intimidating than trying to type it out. So one thing that I should let you know is if you're going to put in a prompt like this under a piece of text, you have to make sure that it's one body of text. Uh, if it's two separate pieces of two paragraphs like that, it's just going to rewrite this paragraph. So whenever you're putting in these prompts, just make sure that it's one body of text if you want that prompt to apply to everything. Now another cool thing I wanted to show you about this is that it not only just transcribes my text, but it'll also edit out some of my mistakes. So I'll just give you an example of this. One day I was going to the shop and uh, I saw a man who was there with uh, his dog and he was buying some dog food. So you can see that when I was talking there, I said, uh, uh, multiple times and it actually edited out those filler words. So that's pretty incredible to me that it's not only just transcribing what I'm saying, but it's also editing out filler words. I've tried it before as well, where it actually edited out 
uh, words that I repeated. So not only does it just transcribe what I said, it also um, understands what I'm saying. And that's a real breakthrough. Now you might be thinking, is speech to text really that new? Well, it's not really. If you go to Google Docs, click on tools, you'll see that they have a voice typing option here. You just click to speak and I'll say one day I was going to the shop and I saw a man, he was there and he was buying dog food. So you can see this is pretty good. This actually transcribed my text very well. But again, the problem is, is that's just one part of the step. The real beauty with OpenAI Playground, and I'm sure soon to be coming to the next version of ChatGPT or maybe ChatGPT Pro, is that it can actually rewrite that text into something else and improve it. And it's the combination of these two features that really make this such a game changer. Now you might be wondering, how did OpenAI build in this capability so fast? Well, it's because they have another AI project called Whisper. Now this came out a while ago in September of 2022, and people were very impressed by this when it came out, people in the AI world. The problem was that you had to understand Python to be able to run this tool yourself it hasn't really been available to the public in an easy to use way until now. Now the thing about Whisper is that they say it is as good as humans at understanding language. And that's really incredible. For now it only works with English, but I'm sure they're going to be adding other languages soon because it's if you have an AI model that is working, all you need to do is add in more data that's more audio in different languages to get this to work. So this could really be incredible um, for using with ChatGPT. Now you may also see that there is another option here to upload your audio from your computer. So let's give this a try. I'm gonna upload a five minute audio file here. It's the audio from one of my other videos. And let's see how quick it descri uh, transcribes this. Okay, so that was pretty fast. It was less than a minute. And what I'm going to do now is input this as an input. So I've just added in the prompt summarized above. And here I get a nice short summary of the above audio. So I think this is an incredible use case. Maybe if you've got uh, if you're into podcasting, you're producing podcasts, you want a nice summary to put at the, uh, you know, in the podcast player so that people can really get a preview of what's coming up or in the YouTube video description. This is something that you can just take the audio, upload it and get that summary there. Another thing you could maybe use this for is if you're in university, you could record your lectures or record it on your phone. Then you could just upload the audio, transcribe it, and you would have perfect notes without rushing and trying to type everything down. Another thing I thought of is if you wanted to write a book, you could just record your voice memos on your iPhone, upload them here, put in all the inputs, get all your thoughts down, and then get OpenAI Playground to rewrite it as a book. So I think there are a lot of cool applications for this new technology. Now you might be wondering, is this all available for free? And the answer is yes and no. If we look at the pricing here, we can see that you can start for free. So you can create an account for free, no credit card required. You get $18 in free credit that can be used during your first three months. And then after that, it's just pay as you go. So if you're not using it that much, then you're not paying anything, which I think is actually a very good approach. Now it's very easy to set up your billing and manage your, manage your account. I've been using OpenAI Playground quite a lot today and you can see it's cost me 24 cent. So it's not a lot of money to use this technology. Now one thing to be aware of is that OpenAI Playground is not designed to be a ChatGPT Pro. That's probably coming later on. 
This OpenAI Playground is just a place to experiment, to get access to these new features. And all of this billing stuff is really set up for people who are building their own applications on top of OpenAI and connecting with OpenAI using the API keys. So don't expect this to be a finished product, but I think it's definitely worth getting a free account so you can try out these new features ahead of other people. And also it's a great backup in case ChatGPT is down or not working for whatever reason. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more. Let me know what are the videos you'd like to see in the comments below. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos.